welcome back to my channel. I am in Milos, Greece right now. It is so beautiful here and out of our entire trip, this is actually my favorite place that we've been so far. So I'm so excited and honored to have the opportunity to shoot this video for you here. So for today's video, I wanted to talk to you about 12 simple things that you can do to live a happier life because really that's what we all want, right? We all want to figure out ways to be happier and to enjoy our lives more. Some of these things that I'm going to share with you are daily habits, others are mindset shifts, but all of them are relatively simple ideas that are a little harder to put into practice. Don't try to do all these things at once, but just choose one thing to focus on first. And once you have mastered that, or at least worked on it to some extent, then you can go on and add in one of these other things and over time become happier and happier. The first thing you can do to live a happier life might sound cheesy, but it's so true, and that is just to look for the positive in every situation. Ultimately, in the end, everything works out and everything is either a nice, pleasant experience or else it's a learning experience. And everything that we encounter in our lives, everything that happens to us is a part of the story of our lives and it's part of what shapes us. And we can choose how we respond to it based on how we view it. If we view it as a positive thing and we look for the positive in it, then we can get something out of it and we can learn from it. But if we just view things as negative or if we just notice the negative aspects of things, then we won't learn from them and instead we'll just feel bitter and unhappy. So look for the positive in everything. The second thing you can do to live happier is to consider what your values in life are and figure out how you can actually live them out. A lot of us go through the daily motions of our life and we just follow whatever course society has put in front of us and we do things without even thinking about why we're doing them and how we spend our time doesn't really reflect the things in life that are truly important to us. So take some time to figure out actually what you care about in life. Do you care about freedom? Do you care about spending time with with your family? Do you care about living in a luxurious environment? Do you care about having adventures? And then figure out how you can add more of those things into your life and how you can make your life more in line with what your values are. There's a channel on YouTube that I love watching and I think that if you enjoy my videos, you'll probably enjoy it too. It's called Michelle B and it's by a girl named Michelle. And I just wanted to mention that because she made a video about six months ago called How to Live Out Your Values and Improve Your Life. And I think that if you want to implement this tip of living out your values, you'll find that video really helpful. Tip number three goes hand in hand with that last tip and that is to take some time every single day to focus on your priorities and plan out how you're going to live those priorities and those values in that particular day. It can be so easy to wake up and just get caught up in responding to things and being reactive. So you wake up and you have a million emails and texts that come in and notifications on your phone and you can just start responding immediately. But instead, if you take some time first to journal or meditate meditate and really think about what your top priorities, what your goals are, what you want to be working on, then you can spend your time a lot more intentionally and do things that matter to you more. Tip number four is to socialize with good, uplifting people on a regular basis. Nothing lifts my mood more than spending time with good friends who are encouraging and really uplifting. And if I'm gonna be completely honest, it actually matters more to me who I'm spending the time with and like the quality of the person who I'm spending the time with, the fact that they are encouraging and uplifting and a positive person, that matters more to me than how close of friends I am with them. I know we all like to spend time with our close friends, you know, with our bestie, but I know that in the past I've had close friends who weren't the sort of people who really encouraged me and motivated me to be more positive. And I'd spend time with them and it was kind of fun, but it didn't really make me feel happy or feel good. But on the other hand, I've spent lots of time with strangers, you know, I was, we've been traveling or even just back at home who were great, amazing, positive people. And even though I wasn't close friends with them, just spending that positive time with them really helped me to feel happier and feel more positive and more motivated about life. 
Tip number five is to make a list of things that you love doing and then make time for those things on a regular basis. I know that when we are busy and we're working, then we tend to daydream about things that we wish we could do. You know, we wish we could travel more or we wish we had time to go on a hike or maybe we wish we had time to watch our favorite movie or read a favorite book or to spend some time on a hobby that we really love. But then it seems that after we're done working, you know, and we are relaxing, somehow we just forget about all those things that we really wanted to spend our time doing. Maybe we're a little bit tired or maybe we're just distracted by TV and other things like that. And so we forget about those things that we wanted to spend our time on. So make a list of those things that you love and then post that list somewhere where you'll see it often. Maybe you just stick it on your fridge or maybe you design a nice looking copy of it and frame it on your wall. But put it somewhere where you see it often so that you can be reminded of those things that you really want to spend your time on. The sixth thing that you can do to live a happier life is to be intentionally thankful. So often we say thanks to people without really meaning it or without really feeling it, but instead if you take some time to really put some thought and some emotion behind the giving of thanks, whether you're giving thanks internally and maybe you're taking some time every morning or every evening to think about things or to journal about things that you're thankful for, or taking the time to handwrite a note to someone who has done something either small or really big for you and just tell them thank you and tell them how much you appreciate the impact they've had on your life or that little tiny thing that they've done for you. Doing that can really help you to focus on the positive things and it makes you feel good also to tell people thank you. Tip number seven is to take care of your health. And the reason for this is really simple. It's hard to feel happy when you feel bad physically. So I know it's not always the funnest thing to eat a healthy diet or to exercise. Sometimes those things don't feel good, but after you do them, you feel really good about taking care of yourself and your body will feel healthier and happier, which makes it easier for you to feel mentally healthier and happier. The eighth way that you can live a happier life is to make meaningful goals and then work towards them. Now, if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, then you know I love goals, I love setting goals, I love working towards them, but whether you're a very goal-oriented person or not, it's been often observed throughout history that the pursuit of something, working towards something, having that challenge and really working on it is a pleasurable thing to do and it makes you feel really Really good about the fact that you have a project that you're working on and then eventually of course when you achieve your goal that's very satisfying also. A good resource if you want to think more about this idea is a book by Chris Gillibo who's one of my favorite authors. It's called The Happiness of Pursuit and it's all about just that, about how working on something, having something that you are working towards or a goal that you're pursuing is something that really brings us happiness as humans. Tip number nine for being happier is to spend your money, your time, and your other resources on meaningful experiences and perhaps on working towards your goals rather than on material possessions. While it can certainly be fun to get things that you really enjoy, and maybe sometimes you find things that are really meaningful to you and that you will really enjoy having, most of the time it's better to spend your money on some sort of meaningful experience with your friends or with your family or a trip you really want to take or starting a project that you really want to get into. Most of the times those things bring us more happiness than buying a material possession that is just going to start gathering dust. The tenth thing that you can do to be happier is to learn new things and challenge yourself. If we are stagnant as humans and we are not growing and changing and getting better, then we won't feel positive and we won't feel like we are moving forward in life and becoming better. But if we take the time on a regular basis to learn new things and to set goals for ourselves, goals that challenge us, then we'll continue to grow and become better. And that is a really motivating, encouraging thing to do for ourselves. Of course, reading books is a great way to do this. You might also consider watching TED Talks on YouTube. And of course, you can always learn by doing. Taking classes can be a very fun, enjoyable thing to spend your time on.
My 11th tip might sound like what might be described as a band-aid solution if you don't understand how this actually works. Tip number 11 is to smile more, even if you don't feel like it. Smile more. And while it might sound like this is just putting a happy face on something, even if you feel sad or even if you feel down or like it's just covering up a problem, smiling more actually changes your physiology. What I mean by that is when you smile, it actually tenses up different muscles in your face, of course, and when you do that, it causes your body to release different hormones that can help you feel happier. Specifically, your body reduces endorphins, which are associated with pain relief, both physical pain relief and emotional pain relief, and also serotonin, which is associated with feelings of happiness. So if you're feeling a little bit down or maybe a little bit stressed out or tense, forcing yourself to smile through it, just putting a big grin on your face and feeling what that feels like actually can help help to physically lift your mood. And my final tip on how to live a happier life is to be generous with others. Now this can take a lot of different forms, both when someone is hurtful towards you, responding in a generous, patient way towards them, giving of your time and money and other resources to others. Being generous feels good, it makes us feel positive about ourselves, it makes us see that we're having an impact on others, and all those things really help to uplift our spirit and help us feel happier. Okay, so that brings us to the end of 12 ways to live happier. I hope Hope that you enjoyed this video and you got a lot out of it. Like I said at the beginning, being happy is something that we all want and I really hope that these tips were more than just, you know, little tiny tips or cliches that you've heard before, but they were something that would be meaningful to you and you would choose one of them to focus on to really implement into your life so that it can have a big impact. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, then make sure you hit that like button down below so that more people can find it because I think that a lot of people would benefit from these ideas on how to live a happier life. Of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I make two videos every week all about intentional living, entrepreneurship, and success, and I would really love to have you join me for the next one. My name is Gillian Perkins. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I really hope that you decide to join me again next time.